Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today we're going to talk about converting system exclusive messages into controller messages. One might ask, why would you want to do this? Well, in this particular situation, a user had a controller that only put out system exclusive messages, and the software would only take the controller type messages. So we had to create a translator to convert those messages from one type to another, as shown in this illustration. As you can see here, here are the system exclusive messages the controller sends and what they are. In this particular example, what we're going to do is take this second one or the preset change and convert that to a controller message to go to the Reason software. So let's get started. I've already opened a project and I'm going to create a new translator. We'll call it preset change to align with what the actual function is. Uh, we need to define our input and output MIDI ports. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use virtual ports uh, that Bohm has provided. In your case, if you had a uh, Akai device, you, the input port would actually be that device. Now we're going to go to the incoming trigger, and we're going to set the what we need to monitor for. And in this case, it's going to be a MIDI message. It's going to be a raw MIDI message and then I'm going to just copy and paste the format or the preset definition that was shown earlier into the raw MIDI message. Now I've replaced XX in the previous example with PP because that's how Bohm MIDI translator recognizes uh, local variables. So now we have the incoming message that's the pattern we're going to look for and the next thing we need to do is decide what the output pattern is going to be. In this case, it's going to be a MIDI message. We know it's going to be a controller change. Uh, we'll set the controller for channel 1 for this example. We'll set controller 1 for this example as well. Now the value, we'll take the value of the variable that we set PP in the incoming message and plug that in for the outgoing message. And when we look at this, everything should show that it translates correctly. So let's go ahead. I open the log window. I make sure that I'm capturing the messages that I want to see. And then I'm going to send it um, three values just to show that as the value varies, the output value will vary as well. So I'll send a sysx message uh, to the Bone MIDI translator. There you can see it in. And it's coming in, and you can see there's a value of 1, 2, and 3, and it's being converted to a control change message on controller 1 with the same values 1, 2, and 3. That concludes our tutorial for today, and I appreciate you all watching. And please, if you have any questions, uh, contact us at www.bohm.com. Thank you.